The Last of Us is an amazing series on HBO, but let's be honest, all the actors could look better. They should look more like me. Alright, I'll take Janik's face. Who wrote this? So I have the idea to deepfake every character and sell it as a new genuine series to Netflix. Nobody will notice a thing. One problem though, deepfaking a video takes a lot of time. And with 9 episodes each taking about an hour, that is... 1510 years. I don't have that time. Netflix will be long bankrupt by then. But as you know by the title and thumbnail of this video, there is an easy way. A one-click solution to get an instant deepfake. And that's AI. Everything is AI now. Now, I found a couple of deepfake tools actually, some better than the other. And the first one is Swapface, which is actually completely free. And they claim that it doesn't collect any of your data as the tool runs on your own computer, which was weird because it's free. But after emailing with them a little bit, it appears that they're currently asking for feedback and fixing bugs. So although it's free right now, it will probably get a paywall later in the future. But they told me it's gonna be the cheapest solution out there, so we'll see where that is heading to. So you can download and install the program and and immediately you know that you're dealing with an almighty powerful AI. I mean, just look at that user interface. That is the future, guys. Now, the other two AI tools that I've tested are Deep Swap and Face Swap Akul. These guys really like the word swap. Now, both are behind the paywall. Akul does have a trial version. However, don't worry, I swiped my credit card so you don't have to. So let's have a look at how they work, which one is better, and then I'll put Genix Face on Joel and also Ellie. That is gonna be so much fun. Now, surprisingly, all of these tools work the same. You just import a video clip and a picture of the face that you want to swap. So let's take a stock clip from Storyblocks and upload it to the chosen deepfake AI tool. Next, you'll need to feed it a face. So let's throw Janig in there. And you're only going to need a picture for this. A tip, use a picture with flat lighting. This will provide the best results. Then you start the process and wait for like... Oh, damn, that was fast. And as you can see, with one single click, you get a pretty good result. Now, you're probably thinking you're... Jordy, you're taking the easy route here. There's barely any movement in the stock clip. Well, challenge accepted. We're gonna push these tools to the limit. We're gonna make them swap like they've never swapped before. But first, I have something very exciting to share, guys. As you know, I've been working together with Storyblocks for many years. They sponsor our channel. But if you click the first link in the description down below now, you'll end up on my own Storyblocks landing page. And here you can find my own collection of stock clips. I uploaded all the shots from my travel projects and four K high resolution. You'll find clips from Iceland, the Faroe Islands, Normandy, and more. You'll even find shots of real car crashes that I shot for a stunt video. Everything is there, mostly in a lock color profile so that you have all the flexibility when color grading. And the cool thing is that these are now royalty free, so that means you can use them for both personal and commercial projects. There's no extra cost, just an active Storyblock subscription. Now, I'm super excited about this, and if you use some of my shots in a video for social media, definitely tag Scenic I'd love to see what you guys make with it. Now, apart from my stock clips, you can of course find over a million high-quality royalty-free stock assets. Every theme and genre you can imagine is there. You can even find Premiere Pro or After Effects templates. And even better, the entire library can be found in their plugin made for Premiere Pro. So no more switching between browser and Premiere or like me forgetting where you saved your clips. You know, it streamlines your workflow immensely, letting you create more awesome videos. This is the best place to get your assets from guys so if you haven't already get yourself a storyblock subscription i truly recommend it to any creative so take back your creative control with storyblocks unlimited royalty free stock library and tools today by going to storyblocks.com forward slash scenicom or simply click the first link in the description down below so let's download a clip with a face that moves around and shows a lot of expressions let's see if the ai can handle that now the process is exactly the same just feed the clip you want to deep fake then the face you want to use and start processing and boom it's done but how does it look can a simple tool like this pull off a convincing deepfake well yes it does wow just look at this guys and yeah i have to be honest you can see some minor faults in the deepfake but for only doing three clicks this is super impressive we did some advanced deepfake projects in the past even a whole short movie about home alone where we put sylvester stallone's face on kevin and of course mine and jenny's face on the burglars it was super fun to make but it was 
very time intensive as well. Same as our recent recreation of the deepfake music video from Kendrick Lamar. And yes, the results in those videos are next level, definitely on the most recent one. But we also worked an entire month on these. We used very expensive computer hardware and we had the help of the best deepfaker in the world, Chris Yumi, you know him, the guy that almost won America's Got Talent by doing live deepfakes, but it's nothing special. Now to create deepfakes on that level, you need to train a face model for a considerable amount of time. And after that is done, you'll need to start cleaning everything on the deepfaked face, using a lot of masks and color corrections. So believe me when I say that these deepfake AI tools really deliver impressive results for only using one picture and a few seconds of time. But enough yapping, let's put the AI to the real test now. I recently saw this cool Zack King effect where he becomes old instantly. Now with his hands, he covers up the cuts between his normal shot and the shot with makeup. Now I want to recreate that with deepfaking an old version of myself onto myself. So I made the exact same shot as Zack King. First I'm acting normal, then I hold my hand in front of my face and suddenly I'm old. But how do I make myself old? Well in Photoshop we have neural filters which is also an AI. I told you guys, everything is AI, even this table. Now you can just take a picture of yourself, run it through the neural filters and do all kinds of cool stuff with it. So let's throw that together with my clip of normal me in the swapity swap tool and see how they can handle the objects in front of my face. Again, it's done in seconds, but is it any good? Timo, add a drum sound effect right now. Oh wow, my goodness. Now it looks like the AI tool handled the hand in front of my face quite well. Now let's see who did it better, me or Zack King? Okay, Zack King won, but not in terms of time spent. I'm the flash of content creators. But all right, enough testing. We are here for one thing. Let's make The Last of Us better by changing everybody with Janik. It's going to be a masterpiece. Okay, I'm not sure if that's gonna be better though. Obviously Janik wrote the script for this video. So we need a scene from The Last of Us. Don't worry, I won't spoil it anything. I'm gonna use face swap a cool for this one as it gave the best results from my testing. Now as you can see, if you have footage with multiple faces, the AI will recognize all of them. That gives you the possibility to do multiple deep fakes at once. I'll select every face that needs to change and use Genix picture to perform the deep fake. Then start processing in the meantime. No, there's no meantime, it's already done. All right, Netflix, open up your money bags because this new series is gonna bring in a ton of new subscribers for you. I present you the last of Genix. Hey man, I'm Janik. What do you mean, I'm Janik? I don't know what it is, but everybody looks so handsome today. Wait, we all look the same. I can explain! Okay, that was disturbing. Now AI is moving fast and you can stay behind so check out the video here on the left where you can learn about the top seven AI tools that every creative needs to start using right now. Go check that out. In the meantime thank you for watching and as always stay creative.